as I go throughout my days doing what people expect of me my job things like that silly things I, I don't just think it's so and I know this is the same story with every other person that I don't think I'm playing God at all I know the truth is God is playing Dan Alexander so even though the name Dan Alexander was given to me it was never really there it was just a bunch of sounds and the more you think about it the sillier it is to really hold on to anything that I held against myself which I already have and the people that haven't forgiven me for things that I may have done to them in years past or whatever that's, that's their problem and if they're causing issues with other family members of mine who I want relationships with I have to step in so I'm trying to and I'm trying to say this as maturely and as respectably as I can because I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings but I'm not just going to sit around while my, my, my children don't have any goals or any wants or desires in life because their parents and grandparents don't Am I supposed to say, oh, that's fine. You don't have any goals and desires. You like watching TV and sitting around, and you're a great example. And then you wonder why they're going to be that way. You know? I, I don't mean to put anybody down, but that's what they're doing. You guys go do something and make some things of yourselves, but look at us. We didn't. We don't plan on it either. We're older, and we were just too old to do anything about it. No. You're training them with a consciousness or an idea of a way of life that is just really, really silly. That's going to hold them down from benefiting from their future. I was talking about something to Xavier earlier. And I just want to say it now while I'm recording. That, you know, there's people who hold things against someone else in their life. They may have harmed them or said something wrong or done something wrong. Some past issue, say they were abusive or whatever. And you never get to patch it up with them. They never talk to you again or they die or they're gone. The best thing you can do is to imagine apologizing and them forgiving you. And leaving it at that. And then anytime that idea comes up, you've gotten over it. And you say, isn't that cool that we're past that now? And then you answer for them. Yeah, it's so cool, isn't it? I'm glad we're friends and that we could squash that problem. Because holding on to it is kind of childish and silly. And just like... You don't do something that harms you over and over. Why would you think the same thing that harms you over and over all the time? You can let go of things like that. So, just think about those things. It may be family members, it may be whoever. But I want to talk to the people in my family and I want to help them understand that I, I am not in any way going to stop trying to be an influence on my family members especially and the world as well because we need people like me around we need beings like me around I don't even want to use the words we have but what else can we do in this world and I mean someone who talks about this stuff like I do all the time sounds weird and odd to people but pretty soon we'll be talking about the life that we have within us more than we'll be talking about the politics that we have around us because the politics aren't in us there's no politics in me. There's no government. There's no nation, country. Those words are just ideas around me. Those aren't in me. Those aren't in anybody. Those are words you say. What's in you is living spirit always. And if you can't grasp that, that's okay. You're allowed to do that too. But people like me have grasped that. And I'm teaching people who are ready for that this lifetime. I think everybody's about ready because we've all gone through the crap quite long enough and it's time for us to evolve as people. So, I'm going to leave it at that. Think about what I'm saying. Peace.